Hi, and welcome to Red Ebony. I am Akayasha. You can call me Aka. So, the question that we have today, the new boss monsters, are they a brilliant idea or just a waste of stamina? Now, for anyone that has spoken to me about this matter, you might feel that that's a bit of a trick question. But don't worry, I'm going to explain what I mean and how I see this whole situation. And we'll take a look at what we actually get from some of these boss monsters. But before we do that though, just want to give a quick shout out to Paxify. For those of you wondering, Paxify is still providing discounts to Ebony players. Never stopped. So if you haven't checked out Paxify yet, now might be a good time for you to do that. Especially if you're stuck having to pay full price for Pax. As usual, I'll have all the links that you need down in the description of this video. So give them a try. Now, for the new boss monsters, the higher levels that we got, you know, Kerberos 5, uh, Hydra 6, we just had Golem, so Golem 7, you know, all those things. I've had a few people complaining to me about the fact that these monsters are draining them of stamina like literally sucking the stamina out of them and when you look at what you get for these monsters and how difficult they are to kill in my honest opinion i think they're a waste of stamina i really do we just finished hydras so let's take a look so this is what we get from hydra 5 right and this is what we get from hydra 6 okay can you see the difference meanwhile hydra 6 requires more stamina than hydra 5 and in comparison hydra 4 as well but for what for a few extra resources not much one or two extra speed ups in my honest opinion i think this is a waste i'm sure some of us might have been feeling that already but you know how these things go sometimes some things just have to be said and that's the main point of this video I don't really know why Ebony releases new monsters like this, okay? Typically, you would expect that, okay, new monsters, more difficult to kill, and they should have some kind of corresponding benefits to killing them. But for the most part, these new monsters don't. And this is something that I've grappled with, even with my own alliance. Because, let's face it, new monsters are kind of fun to kill, okay? People like the fact that they're able to kill the highest level monsters and things like that. But then you're killing them to what benefit? Practically none. We just had golems, right? So here's the supreme golem, okay? And to keep this family friendly, I'll refrain from any comments on the supreme part, right? But this is what you get for it. Meanwhile, compare that to golem 6 and even to golem 5. I mean, say what you will, but I don't think it's worth it. I really don't. The only way that this makes sense is if for some reason there's a shortage of golem 6s and 5s. And the only thing that you can kill are 7s. Okay, fine. But even at that, even with that, how many people can kill multiples of 7s? I don't know. With the expansion of K50, we're kind of hoping that Ebony would make an increase to the amount of resources that we can get okay they increase resource tiles all right that's fine they're giving us some extra stuff uh the hunter surprise gift that we get from the higher level monsters that one yeah it's okay but it's not like it's a consistent drop and it's not like it's a guaranteed drop you don't get that every time and i believe that the number you can get in a day is limited so that doesn't really make up for it. My honest opinion, I really think Ebony needs to up the rewards in these monsters. They have, they have done similar things like that before, okay? We had a problem when they released the new level of Vikings. I think they adjusted that. We had a problem when they released the new level of Hydras before. They adjusted that. So we still hold out hope that Ebony will make some kind of adjustments to these new monsters to make them worthwhile. But for now, they're honestly not. The only ones that are kind of worth killing are 
the B-22 and B-23. And that's largely because of the compendium that you get from them. Okay? They're the only monsters that you can kill to get those compendiums. And you need those compendiums for higher level research in the military academy. But the problem is that those compendiums, it's only people, say, K-45 and above that even have a chance of using them. Everybody below that, you can't use them because your military academy is not high enough. So, okay, there's an argument of stacking them up so that you have them whenever you need them. But realistically, when's that going to be? You know? Anyway, I'm not going to say don't kill the boss monsters entirely because, you know, they're still monsters. They still give you a drop. If people in your alliance are killing them on irregular, that's fine. Okay, join. Go ahead. But be mindful of the drain on your stamina. And also keep in mind that you might not be getting increased resources as you might think. You might as well rally the lower level monsters and get the amount of resources that you're accustomed to and carry on with that. Save up your stamina for more bosses and all those kind of things. Now, if you want to hear more opinions about all the stuff it has brought about, I was recently on a live stream with Mr. Yours and a couple other distinguished gentlemen, okay, uh, Chaz and Asta. For any of you that haven't seen it and might be interested in watching that live stream to hear our opinions on the recent K50 update, here's the video, okay? It's a long video, so check it out when you can. Maybe grab a snack, have it playing in the background, and listen to what we think about the K50 update. That's it for me, guys. Thank you very much. Aka signing out.